I'm Shredmaster Scott, and this video is a metal as f tone tutorial. I'm gonna break down how I get my metal tone for you so you can get the babes. First thing to start with is your axe. I usually use my Ibanez 7 string here. It's a universe model, Steve Vai universe. Very sexy girl. That runs into my axe effects here by Fractal Audio. And uh, you can see I'm using a 6160 PV amp setting. And that's powered with a Matrix power amp, GT1000FX. This thing's a beast. That's coming out of a Black Star cab, 4x12. And then I use a Pod X3 Live for MIDI channel switching to change the presets. I edit the sounds in the Axe Effects with this Axe Edit software right here. It makes it a lot easier uh, to edit things and tweak things around. Okay, so I got my guitar on. And we're just using the camera audio here, so it's not going to be the best, but uh, you get the idea. So I'm just going to walk you through how I dial in this tone. If you want to get a metal sound, you've got to have a lot of distortion. That's one of the main things, right? So over here in the amp block, in the Axe Edit software, you've gotta get that input drive up. If you turn that down, let's just see how that sounds. Right, all that aggression and power kinda goes away. Another secret to getting a good metal tone is the gate. The gate cuts off uh, all that extra noise, hum, and hiss. So, the threshold here, which is the main variable in your gate, if you turn that down, Listen to the noise. And when I turn it back up, along with the ratio, that cuts off the sound again. So it just lets through those higher decibel notes. Couple other things on EQ. Don't put too much bass in, otherwise it's gonna start to sound muddy. So you wanna back the bass off till it's it's got you know that right amount of thunk, but it's not uh, overpowering. I like a, a good bit of middle in my tone, and then treble as well, some brightness. It, if you want a Metallica sound, then you drop those middles out. You don't want a lot of middle action. One other thing I want to mention is try to get into digital amp modeling technology. I mean, the where the science is now, it's like almost as good as the tube technology. So you might as well jump on board, get used to working that shit, because it's the future. Plus, in something like the Axe Effects, you not only get all of the amp models, but you get the effects as well, like reverb, delay, wah. So in order to get high quality recorded guitar audio, you'll need to use a DAW or digital audio workstation. This is called Logic Pro, and this is where I record all of my guitar tracks, and you have the drums and bass sequencers below as well. Just recording your guitar uh, with camera audio is just not, it's not gonna be as good, not even close. So when I'm done recording in Logic, I export the audio and line it up in Final Cut Pro along to the video. Final Cut Pro is video editing software. Okay, now that we've dialed in a metal as fuck setting, we need to play a badass metal riff. I've included the tabs for that riff in the description below. I want to know how you get your metal tone. Let me know the gear that you use in the comments below. Oh, and I almost forgot the most important part of my gear, Viking horns.